Hello. These are the hands of my grandson. Hello. That's Eugene. So we're going to paint a picture together. Okay. So the first thing we get to do, so we're going to teach you how to do this. We're going to hold that for a second. We're going to take this. This is white. And it's got Floetrol and acrylic flow right, with a little bit of water. And this, oops, hold on. There's a little hair on there. I'm going to put little doggy hairs. Okay. So we're just going to pour, oh, look at that, a whole bunch of paint on there. That's exciting, huh? Okay. So now, okay. That's it. Can you hold this? Yes. And I'm going to help you, okay? So Anna's going to help you. Very gently. We're not pushing all the way down. We're just kind of making the paint move a little bit, okay? Just like that. All right. I'm going to turn. And we need to cover the whole thing with the paint. Make sure the paint comes all the way to the edges. It's okay if it drips over the side. That's all right. Oop, oop. Oh, you're doing such a good job. That is Robin's turn. Yeah, when we're after we make our picture, then yes, Robin can help Nana pick a picture too. That's very good. So then, so this is the same kind of paint that was in the big bottle, and we just need to get some of these edges, because see how the paint doesn't come all the way off the edge? We need to make sure that it comes off the edge right there, right? Okay. Yep. Nope. Let it go there. All right, and we're going to put it right here, and right here we need some, Ooh, come on. lots of paint. This is a very messy way of painting. I put a bun there. Yeah, but it's okay. Okay. Oh, no, I gotta do this side. We almost missed this side. Just a little bit of. Okay. Make sure we get all of that. Touch up a couple of spots. All right. So we'll set that back over there. I'm going to wipe this one off. Oop, did I bump you in the face? All right, so I'm going to wipe this off. Okay. All right. Now we need to pick colors. What do you think? Red or green or blue? Blue. All right. So if we use blue, do we also want to use purple? Purple. And how about do we want to use pink? Yes. Purple and blue and pink, maybe. All right. And gold or silver? Which one? Gold or silver? Silver. This one. So this one is silver, and this one is gold. Which one do you want to use? Gold. Gold. Okay. Gold it is. All right. So which one should we use first? Gold. We should use the gold first? Okay. Then wood. All right. So watch. We're going to make a nice pile right here. A big blob of gold right there. And then what do you want to use? Blue? Uh, blue next? Okay. So now we're going to use, and this is the Look at Me Blue by Folk Art. My paints are mixed with Floetrol and water, and details in the descriptions. Purple or pink first? 
Which one? Pink. Pink first? grab a little stir stick and stir it up just a little bit. Start to separate a little bit. Pour some pink on here. Woo! It's a lot of pink. Okay. And <coughs> hold on, I gotta pull things down. Alright, set that over there for a second. And then we want to do purple, right? Okay, let me stir my purple just a little bit. Ooh. Okay. And we want to make sure that we still get some gold in here. So I'm going to put a little bit more gold in the center, okay? Does that sound like a plan? I need a white. Yeah, and you, you think we need a little more white? We've already got a lot of white in there. All right, we'll put a, just a touch of gold right in the center. There we go, just like that. Okay. Gold. Now, we're going to take gonna add, I'm not gonna like really flood the paint itself. I just want to make sure there's enough paint to make this move. I think there is. All right. Now, all right, we get to do a fun thing here. Oh, let's see. What is this? Oh, I gotta get my blow dryer out. So we're going to do just to, let's see, we've still got a lot of paint right here. So let's kind of blow this this way and find some other colors on there. Look at the colors that show up. Wow, isn't that awesome? You just get to move the paint like that. With a little tiny blow. Uh-oh, we lost some of the color there. Let's kind of play with that again this way. Let's turn this this way. Which one do I want? Um, that one. Oh, uh, I said far. Let's try. Let me turn this again a little bit more. Let's go back this way. Oh, good. <laughs> Come on. You like how the colors all mix and blend? Mm -hmm. I just think you picked all those colors. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. We're going to do one thing. See how we've got lots of space up here? Nana is. Do you want me to put some of the color way out here? Do you want to yes. watch it stretch? Okay, watch. We're going to tilt it and we're going to stretch a little bit to that corner. Ooh, and a little bit over that way. Over that. See, do you see that the, I don't know if you can see the top. See how the paint is moving? See how the paint is moving? You kind of stretch across the canvas. Ooh, right on there. There we go, that's good. Move it back to the center a little bit. There, what do you think about that? Should I, should I make it come this way a little bit? What do you think? Yeah. Okay, oops. Nana's fingers in there getting all messy, huh? Nana's a messy kind of gal. Okay, I like it. What do you think? I 
like it. What do you think? Do you like it? You like it? All right, so hold on. There's one more thing I have to do, but it's kind of extender. So Nana's going to do it, and you just have to watch, okay? Because you cannot play with the fire. So there's little bubbles in here sometimes, and this helps the bubbles pop. Okay, so we're going to just do this really quick. Make sure we don't have any bubbles. All right. We go. I'm going to just do a little bit right here just to get a little bit more cells. Oh, maybe. Or maybe not. Okay. All right. We'll turn that off so the safety's on. So, all right. So now the next thing we need to do here, you can help me with this. Okay. So underneath, do you see how the paint is dripping underneath? We're going to scrape the little drips because we don't want all the paint to fall off. And if we let the drips hang there, the weight of the drips helps pull that paint off. Just gotta make sure we get all those little drips off. Ooh, good job. Okay, let it go around one more time. It's okay. No more drips right now. So let's lay this right back over here. Okay. Now, hop down off Manana's lap. Oh, all right. 